going on you guys so i decided not to do the real upholstering on the seats myself uh just based on what i was going to spend on material or even just one of those kits where it's like already like a kit made and you just gotta install it there's a chance that something could go wrong and i could probably mess something up or there's going to be wrinkles or something's not going to fit based on everything that i read there's just a chance of that happening so i'm going to just take them in and get them done by a professional so let me show you guys what it, they look like right now these are the seats they are in really 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 rough shape this one has a hole here and the actual padding they said they could fix that so another hole there we're gonna be doing this all in black black stitching black everything that's what my wife wanted so um that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna go drop these off they said they're gonna take about maybe three days to get them done so i'm kind of in a time crunch right now considering this whole virus thing i'm hoping that the city doesn't go into a whole lockdown shelter thing so I need to go drop these off and hopefully I can pick them up here in a few days. So we're doing a POV video of my truck. No, I'm just kidding you guys. So I just uh, went to go pick up the seats uh, and I'm not sure y'all can see them back there, but they look really, really good. And I went over to a lot of going upholstery. See this right here. They're in uh, Fort Worth off of North Main Street and um, they did a really good job on those seats, man. They look really, really good. They're, they put some more padding on them so they're not all flat like the way they used to be. Um, but yeah, just uh, I'm really, really glad that I decided not to do it myself. <laughs> uh, everything else in the car, I'm really trying to do on my own, but just that, I mean, I have zero skill with that and I just don't want to take the risk of screwing something up. Um, but when, once I get home, I'm going to show you guys what they look like and uh, get go ahead and install them on the car because that's what we were missing so I can actually drive it. But anyways, y'all want a POV video with this truck? It's me. It's over 600 horsepower. Oh, uh, just another thing. Uh, I went to go pick these up on a, uh, we're on shelter in home. Uh, law or whatever that is so basically you're not supposed to leave your house unless it's something essential like grocery shopping uh gas things like that but i mean it's a supra they're essential right <laughs> all right guys let's show you these seats a big difference from what they used to be huh <laughs> once it once it gets hot they're gonna puff up and all that like those wrinkles are gonna go away but there you go now let's go ahead and get them installed all right guys so another thing that i have to do is uh, for the back seats the part on the bottom where you sit on that one's perfectly fine but this back part it's got some uh, some tears here. See see these? It's that one, that one, and then this right here is split open. So I was gonna have these real posters as well, but I figured if I can put a car together, I should be able to stitch, right? <laughs> well, we're fixing to find out. So I grabbed some string and a needle from my wife's uh, stitching kit. So I'm gonna give it a shot and. Uh, I don't know, man. Hopefully, hopefully I can, I can do it, and that way I don't spend no more money on that. Oh, there's actually there's more tears over here, so I'll try it out. We'll see. Worst case scenario, I'll take them to get redone, but hopefully not. Um, they don't seem too hard. Uh, and oh, another thing I did want to say, you know, sometimes you could be having a great day. Uh, for example, when I got the seats back. Uh, they look really good. I was really excited to get them back on. And I get home and I couldn't find the key. 
to this car. I called a bunch of places uh, that uh, to see if they can make me a new key, and they said no, that they couldn't get a key code, that they couldn't work on this year car, blah blah blah, a bunch of excuses. So I called another gentleman. His name's Robert, and uh, this is his information right here. In case you guys are from Fort Worth or Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area, and he came out here and he made me some keys. So, you know, very very. Uh, Stand up person, he came out here, took the panel off, did everything that he had to do, and he got me he got me hooked up. So I was having a really bad day uh, with that, and now with him coming over here and doing that, everything's back to normal. So, um, but yeah, just remember, even if you're having a hard time, there's always a solution to anything. <laughs>